Welcome back everybody. Today's a big day. 90cc saw shootout. All the saws are filled up with a tank 40 to 1 Amsoil Dominator, 90 octane E-free gas, Husqvarna, steel, new school, old school, and put them on the dyno. We'll find out. 661, steel 660, Husqvarna 395XP. Husqvarna 592XP. Looks like the 592 did come out on top right here 8.77 horsepower then the 661 7.97 then the 395 7.84 then the 660 7.11 all of these power numbers right here in these boxes are taken at 9200 right here this real thin red line all right you see the 395 from about 7,000 down has better torque than the 660 and the 661. But from about 8,000 up, the 661 starts pulling away. It feels stronger the more you dog it in on the 395. The 661 and the 660 are both, they're going to fall right off. Now, if you happen to hold the 660, in the higher RPMs, where it's holding on to the power better, it's going to feel really good. But as soon as you dog it in, it's going to feel like it's really falling off. Now, all of these, as stock saws, have a pretty nice broad cutting range, you know, from basically where they start flattening out to where they start falling off. That's a nice wide range to use all right here it is spelled out in number fashion 592 395 661 660 that's what these columns the horsepower is on the bottom torques on the top where it says pk that's the peak so 4.8 foot pounds is the peak torque that the 660 did 661 is 5.13 395 is 5.41 592 is 5.46. Those are all the peak foot-pounds of torque that was measured. Down here, same with the horsepower. 7.28 for the 660. 8.09 for the 661. 7.86 for the 395. And 8.79 horsepower for the 592. This is pretty fun. Is this how you thought it was going to go? Leave a comment below and let me know.